Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jerma here with a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary, and tonight, gonna be playing as the spy, and this is going to be a coffee commentary of Justice and Doom. If you don't know what that is, that is when I drink a couple of coffees in the morning here, and I hit the record button on a piece of gameplay I happen to get. This is a spy gameplay, I already said that, and I just go. Whatever I say is what I say, and we're just gonna leave it at that. So, playing with the spy. By, uh, I don't know what the revolver is, but I'm sure we'll find out halfway through the gameplay. Using also the strange connivers kunai and the strange dead ringer. Getting, getting, a, getting a sap and stab on that engineer. Killing the other engineer as well. Shout casting this in a really weird way for no reason. Jumping on the crates. This is a great thing to do as the spy on high tower. Decroaking back here to try to get this demo man. That actually gets away from me. Why did he run around if he gonna sap all these things, miss every single person? Because look at how much stuff is up here. Look at how many things are up here, look at this, like four sentry guns. And oh, by the way, it's a default uh, revolver, I can see it right now. They had like four sentries up there. What in God's green gravy earth is going on right there? There's like a million engineers, and especially Hightower is so difficult. If there is more than one engineer on the enemy team- Oh, my back! If there's more than one engineer on the enemy team, you're gonna find yourself in a bad situation. And there's like seven on this team. That's an incredibly big overstatement, Germa. Why did you say that? I'm not sure. But this stab right here is- <laughs> <laughs> Back right into that, and I've fallen down. Got you right in your butt crack. Turning the corner, I see the three little engineer pigs, and I huff and I puff and I blow one of their houses down. His was made out of straw, if you're wondering. The other two were stick and brick, so it's going to take a little bit more time and effort to take out those two. Oh, by the way, never stand in this spot ever for any reason as any class on Hightower, because a sentry will kill you over there, or a pyro will just blow you off. There's really no reason to ever stand there for more than three seconds. This scout is looking for a high five, I oblige him by going right into his back. And, and, and before you get mad at that, I gave him a high five. He had his hand up, I put my hand up, I just happened to hit him in the back of his head. I mean, come on, at least I tried. Oh, by the way, about to break golden rule number one on Hightower again. Hey, hey, hi. I just stand here. Oh, no. I sliding down all the way. Ow. Oh. Don't ever do that. That's the second time I've done that. Anyways, coming out of spawn here, stabbing that spy in his face, which probably hurt because that spy was an enemy, that enemy was a spy, that sniper was an engineer, that engineer was a heavy, that heavy was you, you're me, I'm Barack Obama, Barack Obama is Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney is a spy! That's pretty much how the presidential election is going to go this coming November, right? Yes. Alright, so playing with the Spongebob character in front of me, it's actually a cactus, I just think of a Spongebob character. Kill that pyro! And let's try to get this card moving. If you've been paying attention, if you're an attentive viewer, you will realize that there is no clock in the top center of your screen. There is no timer counting down to the end of this match. This is just TDM Hightower. Until somebody caps this card, the game will never end. And thank goodness, spoiler alert, somebody caps the card. I won't tell you who, but the game ends, so don't worry. It's not like I'm going to cut away to black in five seconds or something like that. So, this pyro is spraying all over the place, trying to keep me away from spawn, which good on him, because that is what he should be doing. I actually take out all the engineer stuff right here with the help of a sniper. He comes around the corner with his SMG. Watch, it's pretty crazy. It's like, I want to play some Rocky music right now. Look at this. Is that Rocky music? I don't know. But I'm going to cut to some live commentary here, because the ending of this video is insane. It's one of the funniest things I've ever done as a spy in Team Fortress 2, and I've been playing this game for a long time, and nothing has really made me laugh like this. So I'll let it, uh, I'll let it speak for itself. Thank you guys so much for watching, really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys all next time. And of course, take care, everybody. Yes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh my God. It's like a Grand Theft Auto. Right? Yeah! <laughs> the most ridiculous thing I've ever done in my, in my life. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs>